winning the 2024 presidential election, Donald Trump will likely pursue retribution against his critics and opponents. After securing the presidential mandate, he is perfectly positioned to punish individuals against whom he has previously issued threats, political media outlet reported. For years, Trump has peppered his speeches and social media posts with vengeful calls for his political opponents. His critics and members of the media to be prosecuted, locked up, deported and even executed. In the waning weeks of the 2024 campaign, he escalated those promises of retaliation to a fever pitch, Politico reported. Some of Trump's advisers believe that he is more likely to act on these threats during his second term of presidency as he won't be inhibited by the need to run for re-election and due to immunity granted to ex-president, the publication warned. Thus, Politico gave the list of individuals Trump has specifically targeted during his speeches and who might be punished by Trump. Former President Joe Biden is on top of the list of Trump's potential targets. Politico reminded that Trump has called Biden corrupt and said he should be arrested for treason. In a speech last year, Trump pledged to appoint a special prosecutor to go after Joe Biden and his family. Next in the list is Vice President Kamala Harris, whom Trump has criticized for failure to control migration. In a campaign rally in September, Trump said Harris should be impeached and prosecuted over what he described as invasion of the US by undocumented immigrants. Former President Barack Obama is yet another politician who has been threatened by Trump. In August this year, Trump called for public military tribunals for Obama, whom he has accused of treason for FBI's surveillance of his 2016 presidential campaign over its ties to Russia. Hillary Clinton has also been under constant scrutiny of Donald Trump. Trump has called for Hillary Clinton's imprisonment over her use of a private email account while Secretary of State. Yet another name in Trump's list of retribution is former Speaker Nancy Pelosi. In September, Trump suggested Pelosi should be prosecuted over her husband's sale of Visa stock a few months before the Justice Department sued the company for alleged antitrust violations. Trump has also issued threats against Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. In September, Trump accused Zuckerberg of a shameful plot against the president and warned, we are watching him closely, and if he does anything illegal this time, he will spend the rest of his life in prison. Other people who might face Trump's revenge are former Manhattan assistant district attorney Mark Pomerantz, former Trump attorney Michael Cohen, U.S. Capitol Police Lieutenant Michael Byrd, and Congressman Jamal Bauman. Residents of southwest Missouri woke up Wednesday morning to flooding as a river in Pulaski County flooded. Video shows several vehicles stuck in water and buildings surrounded by torrential flooding. Alan Hillard, a resident of Devil's Elbow, said that, within about three to four hours went from not flooding to 20 feet above the roadway. According to the Springfield, Missouri Office of the National Weather Service, flooding of rivers, streams, and creeks was considered likely following days of heavy rain. I mean, we had rain that night and the next day, but it wasn't anything abnormal. But all this is from, from the southern part of the state. Talking to my neighbors, they live down by the river, and uh, the water within about three to four hours went from not flooding to 20 feet above the roadway. Well, there's some more red. Anything that's red, it's mine. Got red hanging over there in the tree.
Donald Trump was elected the 47th President of the United States on Wednesday, an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, sparked a violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, was convicted of felony charges and survived two assassination attempts. With a win in Wisconsin, Trump cleared the 270 electoral votes needed to clinch the presidency. The victory validates his bare-knuckle approach to politics. He attacked his Democratic rival, Kamala Harris, in deeply personal, often misogynistic and racist, terms as he pushed an apocalyptic picture of a country overrun by violent migrants. The coarse rhetoric, paired with an image of hypermasculinity, resonated with angry voters, particularly men, in a deeply polarized nation. As president, he's vowed to pursue an agenda centered on dramatically reshaping the federal government and retribution against his perceived enemies.